You ready for the last video of Picking Across America, Don? I am. We're gonna continue this daily thing, um, but this is the last one, Picking Across America. We're in New Mexico. We're almost in Albuquerque. We I are went, in Albuquerque. Oh, we are? This is Albuquerque? Yeah, we're eight minutes from the bins. Oh, we're going to the bins. We're going to the Goodwill bins. We're meeting our friend Simon, and we're gonna um, go check out the bins, get some food here, and then head through Arizona, and then get home. Get home, Don. Uh, yeah. you remember that place? I do. We're still paying for it, but we're not there. <laughs> yeah. At the Goodwill bins in Albuquerque. The regular part of this Goodwill had a ton of Target returns. We've been all over the U.S., and most of them didn't have this, but this one had a bunch. Little Sebastian, I absolutely love Parks and Rec. Look at all those shore troopers. There's like, gosh, 30 of them, and they're $12.99 each, so that's even on, you know, more than what they would have been on at Target on clearance. But if you look around here, this was here when I got here. One, one Amiibo, just one Amiibo. Look out for Amiibos. This is a Princess Zelda. Used, these have sold for like 30 to 35. I think in the package, it should go for like 40, 50 bucks. Louis Capaldi, Don loves that singer. So she's going to get that for herself. So guys, I got in here and I met up with some reseller friends and we talked for a little bit, but here in... New Mexico, they close down for an hour um, because I don't think they have enough people to bring stuff in and out. So it takes them about an hour to move in and bring in new stuff. So we didn't see anything in the short time I was looking. I was talking most of the time. So um, we didn't get anything there, but we did find stuff next door. And I'm going to go out to, to lunch with Simon and then we're going to head on to Phoenix and onward. We don't do a lot of bins in Vegas. There is one Goodwill bin. We need to go more. Yes. That's do. what you learn from the bins is you can find stuff in the bins and typically it's paper pound, so you can do a little bit better with that. But if you have a bins in your local area and you're going to regular Goodwills all the time and you're not, you're not doing as well, go check out the bins, Goodwill outlets, the clearance centers. You could uh, have some good luck there, right, Don? Yeah. Oh, there's a roller coaster. What theme park is this? Oh, that's cool. So Simon told us about a card shop here in New Mexico. I've been threatening Don for a while to go to a card shop <laughs> last day. We're gonna go to a card shop here. See if I can't find some stuff that I can flip online for what, Don? A profit. Maybe. Maybe I'll keep it. I'll probably sell it. For some reason I'm getting the smell of, of high school. Or I mean, um, elementary school. Elementary school? Yeah. How you guys doing? Good yourself? Good. Music stuff. Yeah, like records and stuff? Or what? Uh, yeah, like signed memorabilia, like Led Zeppelin and talk. I love it. Just like this is number to 50. I'm pretty sure he'll give me a good deal on that. Can't see Stucky. I remember that guy. I collected a lot those years. Oh, really? 2000. So a lot of Cowboys fans would go to the games. All right. So right now we are in New Mexico in Albuquerque. And check out this store, guys. If you like cards like me, cardboard collectors. This is Brett right here. 530 Washington Street here in Albuquerque. I got a great deal on this whole pile right here. So if you want some deals, I would travel. It's well worth it. I love it. You like it, Simon? Absolutely, man. It's great, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, man. So, okay, I got out of that card shop. The guy really did hook me up. You guys got to check out that shop if you're in this area. Um, and um, it's, it's awesome. I'm excited. So I got this Don Russ Elite. These were really hard to find back in the day. Numbered to 10,000. This is like a seven, eight dollar card. I got all these for 30, the whole stack. Jalen Hurd, he is, I believe, a wide receiver on the 49ers right now, rookie auto. Corey Davis, um, I believe he was on the Jets last year. I'm not sure where he is now, but a rookie auto, sick to 199. Trey Lance, prestige, shiny one. He's a, you know, that's probably what it's worth, somewhere to eight to $15 range. I'm gonna say seven, eight dollars though. He's uh, the starter for uh, San Francisco this year. Here's a game used, game used, uh, David Ortiz to 99. Alex Karras. Don, I told you why I got this one. Why did I get this one? Because he's Brewster's millions dad. No, he's uh, he was the dad in Webster. Oh, Webster. I don't think it's worth much. <laughs> I just thought that was Brewster. cool. Here's a Willie Mays car. This is like 1970. Willie Mays Hayes. Yeah, we're not Willie Mays Hayes. I'm the Willie kidding. Mays. This is like five or ten bucks. CJ2K, an autograph of one of the best running backs of the last 15 years. He just only had a couple good years. So I think people sleep on his auto. That's probably five or ten bucks, maybe 15. Buster Posey, rookie, future Hall of Famer, I'd say. Refractor tops chrome. Roger Clemens to freaking fifty dollars or to number two fifty. Not it's not worth fifty dollars, but that's probably a five ten dollar card. Shannon Stewart Auto. Um, he played for Toronto forever. Two bucks. 
Shaquem Griffith, he just retired, auto rookie. And then Jackie Smith, I think he's a Hall of Famer for the Cardinals, number to 25. All that for 30 bucks. I mean, I'd guess I should uh, probably two and a half times, three times my money on this. Not bad. And I love it. I'm excited about it. <laughs> I thought this Buster Posey would be decent. It's a refractor rookie. I didn't know it was a wrapper redemption, which means you had to send in a wrapper, I guess, to get it. Uh, this is going for about 80 to $100. Um, and it's in great conditions. So I'll probably get around $100 for it. I paid 30 for the whole stack. There's triple my money on one card. That's why I love cards. parts about being back here in the west we're in arizona now is there's no more no more humidity yes it's dry heat it just bounces off of you yeah you're not all sweaty and gross yeah that i did not expect it i mean i experienced humidity a lot when i lived in veracruz mexico back in the day when i was a mormon missionary but it's been a while it's been a good almost 20 years since then humidity's tough i don't know how you guys deal with it it's it's not the heat so much as the stickiness and the yes. sweat um it's no fun, guys. It's no fun. It's beautiful out there. I did notice um, about right when we passed through Dallas, it changed from trees everywhere. And it was trees on both sides of the highway, and all the way in the, the East Coast. Yeah, you're just driving down the center all through the, the East Coast, all down south, everywhere. Now it's just um, nothing. But we do have the Red Rocks for a little bit. And the thing about Vegas is I really love Vegas, but they don't have the Red Rock. It's just kind of like a brown desert. Like St. George. Like St. George has the Red Rock, which I love. But Vegas does have, and let me repeat, Paris, the Excalibur. It has Circus Circus, guys. Have you heard about Circus Circus? I've been going there since I was a kid. Great midway games. I honestly love Circus Circus. That's, I always love staying. Every time I ever visited Vegas, I'd always stay at Circus Circus. I like Circus Circus too. Um, it's probably one of my favorite hotels. I, I love the Midway. It reminds me of being a kid. Because back, you guys got to remember, I started going to Vegas in like the 80s, early 90s when I was a little kid. And Circus Circus was the only place you could go. To take kids. To take kids because they had the Midway games. And then Excalibur came and, and MGM had some stuff. And Treasure Island had some stuff. But I'm very nostalgic for that big giant clown um, outside of Circus Circus. So I'm excited to be home, guys. We're like five hours away, right? Um, Let's see where, how close are we? Five hours and 19 minutes. We're almost there. So it's the next day, guys. I just want to take a moment and thank you all so much for watching this series. I didn't know, I mean, I knew when I said I was gonna do it, I'd have to find a way to do a video every day. And it was difficult, but not hard, if that makes sense. I really enjoyed it. It was just hard to find time. I'm excited to be home now. I'm going to continue uh, along with Don to do these daily videos for the foreseeable future. My initial goal is about a year. We'll see if I can do that. I wanna just do these every day. It's gonna be interesting trying to figure out how to do these when I'm not on the road because you know that's a big part of what I'm doing is I'm on the road, I'm visiting new places. But something tells me that Vegas is a fairly interesting place. So there should be a lot of cool adventures we can go on reselling related and otherwise. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm, I'm so proud that we did this and we were able to put something together and let you guys be a part of this. And thank you guys for being a part of it. Thank you guys for spending the time with us. It means a lot to all of us. Um, you know.